Oh, hey! Almost didn't see you there. Right. So anyway, welcome to Granite's Arcade, the best place to find tips and survival guides. Now it's that special time of year where we're going to be getting together with family. However, sometimes that can be a little difficult, but we here at Granite's Arcade say no more! This is stupid! Please don't. Just saying, there are better survival tips that we could be given. Not today. Thank you. Now in this video, in this video, what we're going to be doing is giving you some tips to help you make it through the holidays and make it the most fun you can have. Now the first thing we're going to be dealing with is problematic relatives. What? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Maybe, wait, what? What do you mean? I mean my family is great. I don't know what you mean by problematic. So, what, your dad's never, like, said anything, like, really embarrassing? No, 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 my dad helped bury you. Yeah, my grandma held the shovel while we tossed you in. As a matter of fact, my family is very supportive. I fucking hate you. Your family really is a delight. Thank you. Now, maybe say you have a relative that believes in Blue Lives Matter, or that the election is a fraud, or that COVID is, like, a fucking lie or something. So what you best can do is, oh hey relative, relative, I know we don't agree on a lot of things, but it's that one time of year where we're all together and I don't want to call the scene. So I think it's best that we just keep it to ourselves and then debate about it later online. No more talking. Only sleep now. Hey, you want to wait a second? It's a pandemic. Don't spit on anybody until you get the vaccine. You're right. You're right. Fine. Now, now speaking of the pandemic, the next tip is going to be about safety. Now, the pandemic can kind of make it difficult to see family. Maybe you have a relative that is high risk. Or maybe you have a relative that works in an environment that puts them at risk of exposure. Or I don't know, maybe you have a family member that doesn't believe in all this and thinks it's all a fucking government conspiracy that America and the whole goddamn world is believing for fucking a year. Like why? You whole motherfucking f Easy. Family. Now, we would advise that maybe you just talk to them over FaceTime. But if you're gonna have to be around them, I would suggest wearing a mask and maintaining a six foot distance. He said six feet, that means six feet from my house! They fucking know better. They know better! Oh my god, they know better! No, wait, stop, stop! You know, stop running! I figured out why he hates delivery men. God damn, now it's a hill! One of them stole a package from him once. Run. You and the job. <laughs> he yells grudges. Woo, baby, how's that for six feet? Six feet under, motherfucker? Yeah! Oh, good, he's done. Now, for the next tip, we're going to be talking about gifts. Now, for some reason, family that only sees you once a year just doesn't know what to get you. Maybe as a woman, you have an uncle that likes to get you a weirdly inappropriate low-cut top. Or maybe you just came out this year. Congratulations, by the way. But, your family got you a Bible. Ooh. Or maybe, I don't know, you get like cut up masks in a box because for some fucking reason your family believes that this whole fucking thing is a lie. Like why? It's not a fucking conspiracy. Why would we be doing this for you? And also this whole fucking cure for cancer bullshit? What, why, why would we fucking, it doesn't, that's not how it works. You, uh. <laughs> Holidays. Well, what I suggest is you just take the, the uh, gift with a, a smile and sell it on Facebook grass sale later. Your best bet is to put it in a town or county that your parents aren't going to find it. <sighs> hey, speaking of gifts, I got, I got you a little something. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it's, it's not much. Wait, hold, hold on. That's not from the guy that you killed, right? What? No, I keep all that stuff. I have a garage full of Amazon boxes. Hey, man. You get a lot of people here, you know what? Yeah, you know, uh, but you know, thank you. You know, you're a weird guy. You do some weirdly fucking crazy shit. But you know, I think that you are. <gasps> and then we get the sacrificial dagger of Alcor the Unbroken. Sacrificial. <gasps> you like it? Why would you give me this? Well, you're gonna need it. 
need it. I don't want to be anywhere near it. For the next survival guide. Next survival. I'm done. We're done. This is the last. This is the last tip. We're done. We don't need anymore. But Zach. The winter. What the fuck did you just do? Tune in tomorrow. But tomorrow. You take us back right now. You Silence. son of a. Wonderful. Tune in tomorrow on our survival guide for surviving the winter. Goodbye. I said goodbye.